Hey everyone, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how you can get an office-like experience when working with your iPad at home. While we've provided a portable compact keyboard case from Logitech with each of our iPads, which is great for typing while on the move, this might not be the ideal keyboard for you when you're working from home at your desk. The great news is you can use a full-size keyboard and mouse with your iPad, just as you could with a laptop. By the way, in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to use the keyboard and mouse I've already got everything set up, such as my screen. So if you want to watch an in-depth video about the dock and all of the different ports, plus getting it connected up to a computer screen, then click up here to watch that separate video. Okay, first things first, you'll need your iPad, your iTech USB-C Nano dock, which looks like this, your keyboard and mouse, and the USB receiver that goes with it. Start by connecting your iTech Nano hub to your iPad via the USB-C port. Grab your keyboard's USB receiver and plug it into one of the USB 3 or USB 2 ports on the dock. It doesn't really matter which port you use, the only difference is that the blue ones are USB 3, which has slightly faster transfer speeds if you are connecting a thumb drive or a hard drive to copy data to. And the gray ones are USB 2, which has slightly slower transfer speeds, but for something like a keyboard, this isn't gonna make any difference whatsoever. You should see a blue icon in the top right corner of your iPad screen, which means there's a USB device connected to your iPad. Now if you open an app such as Microsoft Word, you should be able to start typing away on your keyboard. And if you're using a keyboard mouse kit, then your mouse should also work for pointing around the screen and clicking on things. Now, if you're using a full-size keyboard, there's no need to keep your iPad open in its keyboard case, as this takes up extra space on your desk that could get in the way and be annoying. If you close the case over, the iPad will lock itself. But if you fold it back like this, you can keep it just below your screen and still use it for touch interaction. If you're taking video calls on your iPad while hooked up to your desk equipment, you can prop it up below your monitor and raise the screen up by just pulling up on the black bracket on the back. If you're using another type of screen other than the HP E243 that I'm showing here, then it might not have the ability to raise up and down, so check your user manual before you try and pull on anything that you maybe shouldn't be. Hopefully you find that this gives you a really great experience when typing up documents on your iPad especially when paired with a computer screen. It's nothing too complex, but it makes a really big difference to the way you work with an iPad. And I personally really like it as a device for working from at home. If you like this video, you might want to support the channel by liking and subscribing. And you can also click the bell icon if you want to get notifications every time we upload a new video to help you out with your tech.